Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Cuter Queen here, back with another video. Now, capping off March, okay? This is actually another addition to a colorway that, you know, for those that have been collecting this particular lineage, you're gonna enjoy this one, okay? So, but let's just get into it. No more time to waste, all right? So as you can see, we got the Nike box. We have what looks like kind of like a cream colored foundation and a white Nike logo. Um, same thing all around the box. You can see Air Jordan 1 Craft. Boom! All right. So again, you got the Air Jordan 1 High Craft colorway, okay? Or craft ivory, rather, okay? All right, let me get this other shoe out of the box, just so we can make sure we can get, take a nice close look, okay? So it's looking like we got us a nice color combo on both ends of the shoe for Air Jordan 1 um, silhouette. As it relates to this colorway, you gotta, you gotta treat it very carefully in order to make it a distinct craft ivory shoe. And just from first glance, I would say they did a pretty solid job, okay? First, let me go with our technical colors. <laughs> All right, so we got sea glass and pale ivory, okay? I'm going to assume this particular portion here is the sea glass colorway, and it looks like it is a short-haired suede. Um, it does have what feels like it could have some movement on it. I'm loving the texture of it, very soft to the touch, okay? Going into the lateral portion of the upper. Um, you also see that on the medial side as well. It has what feels like a nylon um, where that ivory is or where the craft or cream color is, so to speak. It has the, um, has that nylon swoosh along the heel. You can also see that nylon texture as well, okay? On the wings, there's a little bit of both of uh, the sea glass and the ivory, okay? The tongue is a little bit of a contrast to the ivory. It is not given as much of a cream. It's given kind of a, a very soft pink in a way. The logo has a white foundation and kind of that gray or sea glass uh, Nike Air swoosh. And so you can kind of see that ivory foundation, that gray or sea glass Nike Air swoosh um, on there as well. So mostly basic, but stays on theme as it relates to the color blocking on the outsole as well. Just the flat ivory. Yeah, man, definitely um, an additional for those who had bought the three that dropped this year. So you're definitely going to enjoy being able to add this to your Craft Ivory collection. Um, I saw March 30th for these, okay? March 30th for $180. So y'all let me know. I know there are some specific to Jordan 1's airheads out there. So um, yeah, for the Jordan 1 heads out there, I know this is a must for y'all. Um, for the Craft Ivory heads out there, I know this is a must for y'all. So, win-win, all right? <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, for me personally, don't have to have them for me, but I could see why somebody might want to go ahead and rock these. So, definitely a good spring colorway, um, even summer. So, and listen, Jordan Brand has been doing a lot of functional types of colorways where you're not locked in because the color is too outrageous. Um, these have been some very casual type colorways. Um, that Craft Ivory definitely falls in line with that casual look. So definitely, I, I can see these going real far for you. All right. All right. Again, y'all let me know what y'all think. And until next time, royalty. <laughs>